Welcome back to another cool Houdini tutorial. Now everybody's probably seen that watches my Houdini videos, my animation in its simplest form, where we just have a piece of geometry follow a path. Well, we're going to elaborate on this a little bit more. And as you can see, I have the same thing here. This sphere is going to follow this path, but as you can see, it's following the gullies. It's going up and down. It's following the contour of our geometry there of our ground plane and I want to show you how to get it to do that okay instead of uh, if you just put this ground plane underneath the way I showed you before it would just clip right through the the geometry there and it wouldn't go up and down and, and move to the contour of the ground so let's show you how to do this okay so I'm gonna go ahead and kill everything here we're gonna start completely from scratch okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is go to my create shelf and control click a grid and lay down a grid node and now we have us a grid node. Pretty pretty simple. Okay, now let's go right to the deform shelf and click a mountain node. And this is going to give us a little bit of deformation to our mountain. We can adjust the height, make it a little taller, the roughness, if you wish, and also the fractal depth. It's completely up to you. So now that we have our grid object set down here with our mountain node attached, let's double click our grid object and go into our geometry level and you can see we have our mountain node attached. Okay, so let's select our grid object and let's turn that from polygon to NURBS. Makes it a little smoother there, as you can see, okay? Now we have us a nice fractal plane, a nice mountain plane there, rough plane, okay? So now, let's go ahead and move forward. Let's go back to our object level. And now we need to add down a path for our geometry to follow. So, let's go to our top view We'll go to our create shelf and select curve. And let's lay down just a random curve, nothing special. Just have it go over the hills and the valleys. Okay. And hit return to end your curve. And then space one to go back to perspective view. And now we have our curve laid out. You can see it's clipping through our geometry. And that's what we don't want. So let's double click our curve node. We'll select our curve, and we're going to change it to NURBS too, just to smooth it out a little. Okay. Now here's what we got so far. It's still clipping through. Okay. So we need to do a few things first. Let's first let's add our geometry. So I'm going to Control Click a sphere, and it's going to add a sphere to the scene. And I'm going to click my Scale tool, and I'm going to scale this down a little bit, like so. Okay. Now I want to put this on a path. So I'm going to select the follow path tool from the shelf. So I'm going, to I'm going to select follow path and then it's going to ask me what geometry I want to use. I'm going to select my sphere and hit enter. Then it's going to ask me to select my path. So I'm going to select the curve and hit enter. And now as you can see the ball is aligned to the path but like I said it's clipping through the geometry you see there and we don't that, that's that's not gonna work we can't you can't use that not unless you're creating a mole digging through the ground or something okay there's always a use for something don't get me wrong so how do we make this well we we're gonna have to use a tool but it's a tool that's not in the shelves we're gonna have to use our tab menu okay and this has access to a lot of tools that the tab menu or that the shelves don't okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my curve. Let's go up to our model shelf. Actually, I'm going to deselect everything. I'm going to go to my model shelf and select Ray. Then it's going to ask me for my curve. So then you select your curve. Your curve will highlight. Hit return. Then select the geometry you want it to be projected upon. Okay. And uh, hit return. And now, as you can see, our curve now is laying on top of our geometry, conforming to our geometry a little bit, but you can see we're in object level and we don't see anything. Where's our mountain at? Well, there's a quick fix for this. Let's select our curve object, which also is housing our mountain and grid. So let's select our curve object and we'll go to modify and we'll hit duplicate. And this will duplicate that. So let's dive into the one we duplicated and let's delete the curve and the ray node. And that will just leave our mountain node. Like so. Now we go back up to object level our mountain is there. Okay, but now that's conformed, but it's not really conformed real great. 
It's conformed a little bit, but not a whole lot. So, like I said before, we need to select our curve. Okay. Hit the tab key. Go down to the miscellaneous tab and select resample. And when you hit the resample, it will throw a resample note in there. And now, as you can see, our sphere now is aligning to the path much better. Okay, you can look there. Right along the top. Okay. So if we select our sphere and bring it up a little bit and run through our timeline, you'll see now we have a great animation with it conforming right onto the path we just made. Pretty good stuff, huh? Hope you all have learned something. We'll see you next time.